Hello and welcome to another video from your University of New Money, University of New Mercy. This is going to be the day 268 video of being sober. It's quarter end, month end. Definitely want to keep this focused on crypto, but I will share a swizzle picture with you because it's got to do that. I'm not going to do that every day. Uh, probably I'm not going to do it most days, but I had one that I didn't add to my videos. So I want to go ahead and share that with you. Um, let me go and start sharing my screen. Let's go and try right into it. Hope you're all having a good Thursday. Looking forward to the weekend, maybe play some board games tomorrow. Think about Swizzle all the time, but hopefully in a good way, not breaking down. Um, let's see, let's get me out of the way here. Don't forget to visit the website, unm.nu, bronco.tv. Check out all the good information here. Again, here we got Swizzle Video, the five minute compilation and then the 15 minute compilation where she was euthanized. And then Bellagio Fountains had a good time with mom and grandma back in, I don't remember what year it was, 2016, 2017, I think. Check out the spreadsheet. Uh, even though this is way back from January 13th, 2021, a lot of this information still applies today. My third day sober journey. You can find the spreadsheet right here. Should have today's date. I thought I just uploaded it. And yes, 3:31, 22 taking a look at other crypto stuff before we jump into the spreadsheet. Uh, I'm still surprised consortia hyphen stake hyphen EWT.io that it's still below 40%. I thought people would have flocked here like crazy. If you take a look at the old staking pool here, around 60% last I checked. So people are hanging on to these high return rates above 20%, as long as they can, this is 21.79%, still over 60% full. So people are getting those rewards until the very last day, which is today. A little bit surprised by that. We'll see if there's a huge flock to the new pool or if they're gonna cash out. Very curious about that, why they're waiting so long. Because again, that 60% all flock here will put us right at around 100%. And we'll see if additional people join EWT, you think they would over time, but we'll see. Again, the APY is slower here, just over 10%. I've only gotten 2.4 EWT since I started staking, what, a little over a week ago, I think. But still a huge fan of Energy Web Token. I think it's an important project. Energy blockchain is going to be very important in the world. In terms of other crypto stuff, see how my Ethereum validating is going. 93%, not bad effectiveness. Getting closer and closer to getting to 90%. What am I if I get to decimal places? 96252 divided by 107.636. I'm at 89.4236%. So once it gets to 89.5, I'm assuming this will jump to 90%. Start getting that green face soon instead of this yellow one. Trying hard. Still enjoying the rewards being an Ethereum validator. Checking out Planet Finance here again. What a increase for Aqua. I didn't see that coming. Easy to look back and say, man, I wish I'd just put all my money into Aqua when it was $80. Now it's $353. Very hard to predict the price would over quadruple in two weeks. But I was promised, I, I was optimistic about Planet Finance back then. I'm even more optimistic about Planet Finance now. I believe going to their Twitter account, it said for at least a period, I don't know if that's a one day period or what, that it was the fastest growing DeFi in the world. Going to their Twitter account right here. And there's been a lot more excitement around Planet Finance since Infinity Vaults came out, uh, talking about circulating supply fix for Gamma. Here we go, $300 for Aqua. It's a nice little gif, Jeff. Um, let's see here. Uh, Must have glanced over it. Ah, yeah, I totally did. Aqua is currently the number one biggest mover amongst all DeFi projects on at CoinGecko. There it is, number one. This was March 27th. Look at that, increasing 11% in a one-hour period that day. So Aqua, Planet Finance, 
still not too late to get in. I have a $5,000 price target for Aqua. Aqua is only $350, even though it was $80 just like a month ago, $100 two weeks ago. So uh, is there anything else I want to take a look at? I mean, I guess we could look at the graph and then we'll jump to Swizzle and then the spreadsheet. 24 hour period, it's more fluctuating, but if you look at the last 30 days, I believe some around here would have had to have hit $80. I mean, here, yeah, there you go. March 10th, it was as low as $88.84. That's probably the lowest since then we've been on an upward trend. Definitely in the past two weeks, it was as low as $100 right here. Nice upward trend. It's a lot of for optimism. Taking a look at poor little Swizzle here. This wasn't when she was just spayed. I'm assuming she was spayed when she was a little pup. She was... 10, 11, however many years old here. I had taken her to the groomer at PetSmart and they accidentally cut her, had to give her stitches right around here. And because of that, they didn't want her licking her stitches. So they had to put that cone back on her head and poor little thing, she was banging into stuff because she was kind of a klutzy dog. That cone was hitting walls, hitting her couch and everything. She's just looking like, why do I have to go through this again? I already went through this once in my life now, life, and now I have to go through it again. You guys are torturing me. So that's that poor little little face. But that's the story behind her wearing a cone. Wasn't able to add this to either of the two videos, but wanted to share that here. Cute little pup. Miss that thing, but she's always in my heart. You guys know that. So jumping into the spreadsheet for today, it's going to do the price updates. So as of the end of quarter one, V22, March 31st, 2022, Bitcoin as of this morning is $46,482, Ethereum $3,352.98, XRP $82.46, Litecoin $124.16, Aqua $356.33, Safe $0.11, V chain 7.98 cents, energy web token $6.08, Cronus 47 cents, Aqua BNB LP at Planet Finance $813, Gamma 32 cents, Gamma BNB LP at Planet Finance $24. Taking a look at 24 hour price changes, Litecoin's the biggest decliner, not sure why. Safe Moon up has a lot more room to grow, but you can see that Safe Moon wants to increase. I mean, it's not like all enthusiasm has been removed from the Safe Moon community. So, taking a look at the past quarter, Bitcoin's only down 2%. So, for all the crazy activity we saw in quarter one, to be down only 2%, it was down even less yesterday, I believe. But still, to finish the quarter down only 2%, not bad. Ethereum only down 10% with Ethereum 2.0 coming out this summer. Hopefully, man, it's going to take off. XRP only down 2% with the lawsuits still taking place. Once the lawsuit's gone, hopefully in April, expect to see XRP explode, hopefully the way Aqua has in the past couple of weeks. Litecoin down 17%. I'm not sure why Wimble hasn't enthusi hasn't uh, been so enthusiastic for the Litecoin community, but maybe it's just going to take time for it to kick in. I haven't read anything about bugs. Let me go and actually research that because that does bug me why Litecoin hasn't taken off. I understand buy the rumor, sell the news, but I would still think the implementation of Litecoin, of Mimblewimble with the privacy and security features it offers would be a real world thing, which isn't just buy the rumor, sell the news. Um, is there any news? Four hours, it's all technical analysis type stuff. How will Mimblewimble work on Litecoin? Well, so maybe it hasn't really been implemented. Maybe that's the issue. Always delays in crypto, you know that. Here it says January 31st, finally launching its major Mimblewimble upgrades. Let's see what this article from five days ago is. I haven't read this. Is this just a scammy article? Um, maybe it's still loading. How Mimble Wimble work on Litecoin? I don't see any content to this article. It seems kind of worthless. I must be missing something, but oh well. I don't think there's any news with Mimble. Let's see. I think people are just dying for Mimblewimble news. Let's hit the news feed for Google. Uh, here you go, one week ago. I didn't check this out either. This looks like a real news article. Litecoin developers deploy Mimblewimble update to testnet.
So we've been working very hard to fix all the bugs before final release. So I guess the final release hasn't taken place yet. This is as of March 18th. We are very close now. So maybe that's the issue is I thought it was actually released, but it was just kind of released in a test phase. I don't know. I expect Litecoin to take off once Mimblewimble is actually finally released. That would be my thoughts. Aquado up 130%. And what a fun ride this has been. It's been nice seeing my portfolio grow at Planet Finance. We'll get to the portfolio analysis next. Safeman, the biggest loser for the quarter, down over 58%. Uh, a lot of change in the executive team, specifically the FUD hound. Safe Moon hound is gone. Um, you've seen a lot of people leave Safe Moon over the past year. Uh, FUD hound, uh, Papa. Uh, I don't know why other names are escaping me right now. I mean, Papa, the guy with the big old beard, he was a huge face in the community. Fud Hound was a big person. Who are the other people who have left Safe Moon? I feel like random names are popping into my head, like Jack. Um, let's go and look. I don't even know what to search for. So that's Safe Moon Hound, Ryan Ariaga. Um, Hank, there you go. Hank, the CTO, left in September. That's the name I was thinking of. Uh, Hank and Jack. Jack wasn't him. I don't even know what all these people did. These are just names that stick in my head listening to Safe Moon Joe. But anyway, definitely turnover in the executive team. CEO John Crony still there. I still believe in the project. I believe in the Safe Moon Exchange. Why do I believe in the Safe Moon Exchange? I mean, just the idea of incentive incentivizing to hold instead of sell by assuming rewarding Safe Moon to holders of crypto on the exchange. I'm not exactly sure how they want the Safe Moon Exchange to work. But let's see if I can find some info here. Um. And it still may be in development. I mean, information to the public still may not be widely available. I mean, this is more how to actually buy Safe Moon. I'm curious about the invitation of the Safe Moon Exchange. Let's see if they have something on the roadmap. So definitely consolidate to version two if you haven't done so. Be careful. Um, I don't know if there's still 100% tax if you transfer from version one to version two. If you have version one, research how to convert it to version two. I did that. When it first came out, um, there we go. Safe Moon Exchange. It's a revolutionary new idea that will bring tokenomics to all crypto on its platform. We call this cryptonomics coming soon. So, again, very limited detail, but I believe you're incentivized to hold your crypto on the Safe Moon Exchange. You'll get some sort of reward for doing so. And I believe just that incentivizing of holding crypto on the SafeMoon exchange makes SafeMoon very appealing. Sort of like staking your crypto at Planet Finance and getting gamma in return, same sort of thing. So I like what SafeMoon's trying to do. So we'll get to percent analysis next, like I said. B-Chain only down 6% for the quarter, not bad. Energy Web Token down 33% for the quarter, very disappointing with staking going on. I thought there'd be more enthusiasm in the community. Um, not sure why it's down. Again, like I keep saying, actually blockchain is going to be huge. Uh, you always hear about green energy, green energy initiatives, making energy more efficient, trying to improve energy use in the world. Blockchain can help with that. So that's where you see Power Ledger, Energy Web Token as being leaders in energy blockchain. And I just see the $6 price is really dark cheap. So if you haven't gotten into Energy Web Token, I don't see a better time than the present to get into Energy Web Token and start staking it. Cronus down 17%. I'm going to be selling off my Cronus. Again, this is just for me to have money at the present, consolidating my portfolio. I'm not against Cronus. I think crypto.com is a great community. Maybe I'll buy back in at the future. I've sold my crypto before, and it's not that I don't believe in it. It's just it's lower priority for me. Like I've held Stellar in the past, IOTA, EOS, um, Cardano. 
I mean, there's a bunch of crypto that I've consolidated in the past. Whenever I've sold it, I've usually put it into Bitcoin or other cryptos that I hold. So it's just one of those things that I'm just less optimistic about Cronus than the other coins. I don't have a specific reason. I mean, they did great getting the naming rights to the Staples Center, now Crypto.com Arena. In terms of other things they have planned, I don't know. I think their debit card is amazing, but I have the Fold card, which gets me Bitcoin rewards. I prefer using that over the Cronus Crypto.com debit card. But definitely a use case for Crypto.com. I would still keep promoting them. Still like the Matt Damon ad. And the LeBron James ad, I guess, but I prefer the Matt Damon ad. And again, finishing off here, Aqua B and BLP up 40% roughly. That's because Aqua's up 130%. I'm curious how BNB is over the past three months. I don't specifically monitor BNB. I just monitor it as part of my LPs listed right here. But I'll do a quick look at that in a second. Gamma down 15%. The Gamma BNB down 15%. So... Uh, Gamma definitely has room to grow, but it's gone up recently. It was as low as, I believe, 15 cents. So for it to be at the 32 cent range, that looks great in my eye, even though it's down 15% for the quarter, down from 38 cents to start the year. But you will know, see. Let's take a look at BNB. Then we'll jump into my percentage analysis, and I think we can call it a day. We don't need this to drag on and on. But since it is the end of the quarter and the end of the month, I just wanted to dig into my spreadsheet a little bit more in detail. And is still the four coin, huge fan. Curious to see how it reacts when Ethereum 2.0 comes out. That's definitely on my mind, which is why I'm not directly invest in BNB, but holding it as part of my LPs makes total sense since I want to be a part of Planet Finance and get the re gamma rewards for being a part of the LPs, being a liquidity provider. Uh, so let's see, let's just do this manually from the beginning of the year. <clears throat> so yeah, started the year at $511, down to $426 over here. Let's see what that is. What was the price again? So down about 16, 17%. So in line with the decrease in gamma. So BNB definitely has room to grow. But we'll see. What you guys think is quarter two going to be amazing? Or are we going to go back into a bear market or bearish conditions? Leave your comments in the comments section. If you enjoy this kind of content, please give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell. It helps my channel grow. I appreciate all of your support. Every one of you who's taken your time to watch my videos, thank you, thank you, thank you. It helps my channel. It helps me reach more people, help more people. If I can just help one, pe one person achieve life-changing wealth through crypto, then this channel has served its purpose. Plus, it's helped me stay so sober 268 days and counting. So it's all good. I'm going to keep doing the channel. I don't see it ending anytime ever. Let's take a look at the percentage analysis. Bitcoin percentage has increased from the beginning of the year. Ethereum percentage has decreased. XRP about the same. Litecoin has decreased. Aqua, I started the year with zero direct Aqua. I just had the Aqua BNBLP. Now Aqua makes up a significant portion of my polio over, over 1%, so I'm pretty proud about that, getting as much Aqua as I did at dirt cheap prices, in my opinion. Safe Moon, it's come down. It's down in that range where it's below 0.4% of my portfolio. I really don't want to hold coins unless it's 1% of my portfolio. So since I'm still feeling Safe Moon, see me invest in Safe Moon over quarter two. That's my plan. V Chain, about the same. Energy Web Token down. Um, I don't plan on buying any Energy Web Token, but I definitely plan on staking the rest of 2022 and beyond. If this gets below 1%, that means the price has gone way down. So at that point, I would probably buy some Energy Web Token at the current state and just stand pat and be a staker. Cronus, that's going to go to 0% quarter two. These down here, Aqua BNB, I expect to increase just because I expect Aqua to increase and BNB. 
I'm not going to buy any. I don't plan on that. Gamma, I'm getting gamma rewards being heavily involved with Planet Finance. So that's going to go up. And what I actively plan on buying, as well as safe when I plan on directly buying gamma BNB LP as it provides huge rewards. Right now, if you're new to Planet Finance, you're trying to get started, I recommend um, if you need help actually doing the process of it, um, giving you a quick rundown, what I do is I go to Binance.us. I'm not going to actually log in, but go ahead and get set up with Binance.us. If you need help with that, you can probably find information on the internet. I may have done a video on Binance.us. If not, leave your comments in the comments section. I don't mind making another video on Binance.us, getting started with it and how you actually operate the system. But what you would end up doing is trading your US dollars to BNB right here. Once you have that BNB, go ahead and withdraw that to, I use the trust wallet on my iPhone. Once it's on my iPhone as BNB, I go ahead and go to Planet Finance. And then you can go ahead and go to the pools here. I prefer Gamma BNB because it has such a huge incentive. You get 100% APY, roughly 100% APY by investing in Gamma BNB. So if you're just looking for passive income, that's the way to go. I also own a significant amount of Aqua BNB. I did that mostly because I got into Planet Finance just before Gamma was even a thing, before the Green Planet was in existence. Had I had it to do all over again, I'd probably have my entirety in Gamma BNB, which is why I recommend to new people to just go with Gamma BNB. But I'm happy that I own the Aqua BNB that I have. You get a much lower APY, 42%. But because I expect Aqua to hugely increase in price compared to Gamma, this is more of a price appreciation to hold than it is a passive income type of hold. So if you're looking for more passive income, go with Gamma BNB. If you're looking for just price appreciation, probably just buy Aqua directly and then put it into the Infinity Vault here. That's what I would recommend. But still, holding Aqua BNB LP for passive income and to have exposure to Aqua as well as BNB, not a bad option. I own a significant amount again, so it's something I believe and I put my money where my mouth is. But the reason Gamma BNB is so appealing is the 60X vault multiplier for sure. Whether they keep that long-term, that would be something I'd be curious about because if they got rid of that multiplier, you're going to see this APY plant. So at the present, Gamma BNB is very appealing. Long-term, I don't I have no clue what their plans are. But what you would do is once you have that BNB in your trust wallet, go ahead and do transform. It'll allow you to transform your... Um, you would click on BNB here. It'll automatically convert your BNB to the Gamma BNB LP. And then once you have that, you go ahead and improve that. And then it'll go ahead and give you Gamma rewards, which you would collect right here. Which then once you collect those Gamma rewards, and I know this is all theoretical, I'm not actually walking you through it with actual coins. I'm just describing it to you. But you would have earnings here, Gamma. You would then hit this and collect them. They would then appear here in your lending vault, which then you would go ahead and once you're logged in here, you would go ahead and click on gamma here. You would go ahead and start lending out gamma. You would supply it, activate this and supply it. Once it's done there, then you go to your vaults and go ahead and add it to the infinity vault. Need any help with this? I'm sure there's tutorials on the internet. If not, ask me and I'll make a specific video on this. But once you actually do it, I think the process is fairly straightforward. I didn't have any trouble doing it. Getting back here, is there anything else I wanted to talk about the spreadsheet? I think we're pretty good here in terms of the recap daily stuff. We have nothing in red, nothing in green or blue. Daily, day change, percent change, percent all time high, all updated. XRP. Again, when I look at this $3.40 all-time high price, like once this XRP lawsuit is resolved, why can't we just get back to all-time high prices? I don't see any reason why we wouldn't just be $3.40 once that lawsuit is resolved and then work toward that $15 target I have. So we'll see. Take a look at the graph here. I've just changed this to Aqua, comparing it to BTC. So as you can see, both coins are new highs for the year. 
BTC is near its high starting the year, whereas Aqua is setting new highs for the years. We started way down here at the beginning of the year, trended downward. Then we've been on this huge peak boom explosion upward whereas btc had this roller coaster ride down tried to rebound came back down rebounded came back down and is now back toward highs for the year so that's how you can interpret this graph um, oops on the projection tab again this is still integrating that we're going to have bearish sentiment until the end of quarter two now, with that being said, we've seen a huge turnaround in quarter one. So if you don't believe we're going to have a bearish period, if you think we're just going to be bullish from here on out, change this Y to an N right here and sell, sell U1 on the portfolio tab. But I'm going to leave it in here for now. You know, as optimistic as I am, as I always am, with this price moving upward, it's easy for me to be like, well, maybe I should get rid of these midterm prices. But right now, I'm going to keep bearish sentiment in here with ultimate bullish sentiment toward the end of this Bitcoin cycle, toward the next Bitcoin halving, which is projected to be March 28th, 2024. 728 days away. So that's how this tab works. You different price targets at different periods of time based on the assumption we're going to have downward movement and then upward movement. But feel free to play with around with those numbers as you desire. This BTC Proj tab, this is based on the number of millionaires in the world and various assumptions, uh, different target uh, total market caps for Bitcoin. And so based on those target market caps, the amount of Bitcoin each person, each millionaire could own. So in a maximum scenario where the maximum market cap is reached of $56 trillion, and the minimum amount of Bitcoin is available, which is around 15 million in circulation, which is the current amount minus the estimated amount lost. That means that every millionaire could at most own 0.2667 Bitcoin. So my goal for people, what I would do, you guys, is try to get to one whole Bitcoin. But I realize that's hard. Not everybody has uh, $47,000, 46482000 dollars $46,482 available just to invest right now into Bitcoin. I realize that's a huge asking of me, but if you can do it, great. But most people can't. Well, if you can only get to half a Bitcoin, well, this is still saying you're in pretty darn good shape, you know, based on these assumptions down here. Uh, if you can only get to a quarter of a Bitcoin, any amount of Bitcoin you can get to is better than no Bitcoin. But these, you know, this also gives you different price projections. Uh, the short-term projection I have is $100,000, but, you know, Kathy Wood and ARK Invest would lean toward this $1.3 million price target by the year 2030. So this is what this tab is trying to accomplish. Different target prices for Bitcoin, different target amounts of Bitcoin to try to hold, try to own based on various assumptions, based on you trying to become a millionaire as your target investment. The goals tab here, this is more of a day-by-day -day breakout of how much Bitcoin you should buy on a regular basis to achieve your goals. Uh, you can invest periodically, or you can just force yourself to get to your goal based on linear daily investing or weekly or a custom period, which this is bi-weekly right now every 14 days. So this sort of will help you stay on track daily to achieve your goals. And the how much tab is all about, you know, the popular question out there is how much Bitcoin should I buy, which there is no cookie cutter answer for everybody, but this will help you achieve that goal of how much Bitcoin should you buy? Well, this is saying $300 worth of Bitcoin for 260 weeks uh, based on the various assumptions on this tab, based on the amount of money you need monthly to retire, based on, so essentially, again, the principle you need to live on to retire based on getting a percentage back from Planet Finance. I mean, you can dig into this. I've done a tutorial on this tab all of itself, so I don't want to rehash that, but this that's what this tab is trying to accomplish. Tomorrow, I'll be updating the recap weekly, week change of percent weekly tabs, config. Again, I definitely thank you all for visiting unm.nu, visiting the channel, watching my videos. DFS didn't do great yesterday, ended up winning zero dollars, not good, but that's how NBA goes, still a lot of fun. I do it for entertainment. And again, this tab, I don't feel like doing an intense video probably this week, maybe next week, we'll see. But that's all I've got for today. Again, if you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell. 
oh, wow, this has been an over 30 minute long video. I didn't realize that it is time to stop. So let me go ahead and share sounds. Come on, YouTube. Go ahead and close this out. Um, I haven't played this in a while, but to lift everybody's spirits up, even though it's a depressing news topic, it's a pretty funny YouTube clip. And I've played it before, I gotta play it again. Um, yeah, let's see, where is it here? Huh. Let's see where that little clip is. Might have to go to my history. I don't know why it's so hard to find. So obviously I've been looking at uh, the Chris Rock, uh, Will Smith stuff. There you go. Enjoy. Ten people died in the Bronx last night due to a fire that killed ten people in the Bronx last night during a fire. Fire officials say all ten people died due to the fire which was too hot for their bodies. Okay. <laughs> you enjoy the rest of your day. God bless. Take care. And happy investing into crypto. Oops. Thought it was loading. Hope you enjoyed this video today. Thank you again for watching this video from your UNM.NU. This is the disclaimer. This is not financial advice. The information from UNM.NU, University of New Money, and University of New Mercy, and any of these other likenesses is provided for educational, informational, and entertainment purposes only, without any express or implied warranty of any kind, including warranties of accuracy, completeness, or fitness for any particular purpose. Again, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell that way you're notified of all future videos which come out from the channel. Again, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you're looking forward to the next one and take care.